what's up guys so in today's video i'm going to go over all of these awesome auction items that i sold on t's auction so stay tuned right after this All right, guys, I am super excited because I was on auctions for you, T's auction last night, and um, it was my first time being on her auction, and I was so excited to be on there. Um, I had 14 lots that sold, and I wanted to share with you guys, if you were not on that auction last night, I want to show you all the items that I sold on her auction. Um, before I get to that, I would like to first do some mail opening. I have ordered some items um, from T and another reseller, and I would just like to open my mail and see what I got. All right, I have three packages to open. This one I ordered from one of T's auctions. This one I ordered from Commonwealth Picker, and for those of you who know who Commonwealth Picker is, I'm sure you know what this is. And then this item I won off of um, a drawing from Donna and T's auctions. So I know what this is as well, super excited. So I'm gonna open this item first. All right, so check this out. I won these from one of their drawings on the auction. These are masks and they were made by June Levenger. Really cool, I've got three of them. Look how cool these masks are. So there's one. It's really pretty. Here's another one. And here's the third. This one is silvery. Very cool mask. Super excited. And it came with a little note card. Look at that. It's a thank you card. Congrats. Love, Donna and June. That is so cool. Thank you guys. I love these masks. They are so neat. I have like regular masks that are sewn straight across and they always fog up my glasses. So I bet you anything these will work better. So, all right. So the next item I ordered on eBay from Commonwealth Picker Store. this out. I got an Inaman. You might know that you're a reseller if you own an Inaman, just saying. And they are going fast. I think he used to have several thousand of these. And last time I checked, he had less than 500. So these are really cool. When I do my back wall display where I sit, I'm gonna put him up so he may look a little awkward with all of the zombie stuff. <laughs> Maybe I need to decorate him or something, I don't know. He's really cool though. Uniman to the rescue. All right, so this last item right here um, was a lot that I won on T's auction. My, oh, look at the ring light. My favorite. Hang on and I'll show you. And I'll show you the stuff I got. This item right here is a package of Marvel cards. Um, I'm assuming they're all the same. They say Iceman number one 
and they're dated June of 2017. I think someone said they were like promo cards or something in the auction. I can't remember, but they're pretty cool. I think I'm going to put these up probably on eBay. So those are kind of neat. Um, this item right here, if you guys follow me, you know where this is going to end up. This will go with my son's Star Wars room. Added collection. I had bought, I didn't do a video on this, but I had bought a Star Wars ship from one of Donna's auctions that I gave him to put in his room. I may eventually have to do another video of his Star Wars room. Um, this is cool. This is a... This is actually a 2003 calendar, so it's still sealed, so it'd be definitely just a collector's item. My son has tons of Star Wars stuff that he just displays, so I figured this would be a nice added bonus to his collection. So these last two items are duplicates. They are Walking Dead and their 2014 calendars. There's two of them. I'm going to keep one of them and put it up on my wall when I start working on it. I'm still waiting for some stuff to come in. And then I'm going to give the other one to someone in the community that I know loves Walking Dead as much as I do. So I am super excited about these. Thank you, T. I love these auction items. Um, T's Auction, her YouTube channel is called Auctions For You. I'll put a link in the description. And then now I'm going to show you guys all of the items I sold on her auction last night. And I mean last night as in you're probably not going to see this video for a day or two. So just okay, saying. So I'm going to start with the lowest selling items and build up to what I call big giant fireworks for the night. So this first item I bought from an estate auction. It is a Honora necklace. It is cultured freshwater pearls and they're really pretty and it still has the tag on it and it came with a little case and that sold for $25. So this next item right here is another estate auction find, and it is a vintage Judy Lee bracelet, and it sold for $27. And it is really pretty. It's a five strand, just a lovely piece of costume jewelry. It was really, really pretty. Awesome. This next item right here, I just really love this item. I don't know why. I think the turquoise on it is just really gorgeous. It was also an estate auction find. It is a 1988 turquoise eagle belt buckle. Really, really beautiful. Gorgeous. And that sold for $29. All right, so this next lot of items right here these are um, a lot of nine pieces of scrub tops, and these scrub tops sold for $27. So I will go through the patterns real quick. Here's the first scrub top. Here's the second. And there's the third. And all the scrub tops are used um, with the exception of this one still has the tag on it. This is a koi scrub top. Super cute. And I really like the pattern of this one just because it's so interesting. All right, and then here's one for Halloween. It is in really good condition. The colors are super bright. And it is a Mickey Mouse Halloween scrub top. Love that one too. All right, and the next one is this pattern right here. And it's another Koi. And then here is a breast cancer awareness scrub top. And then the last scrub top, this one's awesome. This is colorful puzzle pieces. 
which are great for autism awareness. All right, so those were the nine scrub tops. I have a bunch of clothes that I bought up to a year ago that um, when I first started reselling, I was buying a lot of clothes and I just decided I don't like to list clothes because I have to do all the measurements and all that. So I figured I would slowly start auctioning off lots of clothes. Um, that way, resellers that like to do clothes, they can have the clothes. And I'm even willing to take a loss when I need to because that pile of clothes is not doing me any good sitting there for a year. All right, so this next lot is one of my favorite things right now, and it is uranium glass. And these salt and pepper shakers sold for $32. And I'm gonna show you what they look like in the black light. All right, so now I look a little fuzzy because I turned off the lights, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like in the black light. I had several people commenting on my fingernails last night, so that was kind of funny because the black light makes them glow. But these are just beautiful, beautiful pieces, and I think the person that bought these is putting these in his own personal collection, and I really don't blame him because they're just beautiful. All right, so this next lot was a lot of five pairs of jeans and they sold for $35. So this first pair of jeans was just classic polo Ralph Lauren jeans. This next pair, these weren't jeans, but I threw them into this lot. These are White House Black Market Skinny Crop, size six. Really cute little pair of cropped pants with gold zippers on them. This next pair of jeans are a pair of Lucky Brand jeans, size 628 regular. And then this pair of jeans, these were a pair of 512 Levi's jeans. And then this last pair of jeans, I haven't seen these anywhere and they were really cool. And I sat on them for a long time. I was gonna list them and then I, they've just been sitting there. So I put them in this lot. So hopefully some lucky reseller will make a decent amount of money on these jeans. So these are Lucky Brand Lil Miss, and they're called Splattered and Tattered. And they have this splattered and tattered look. And I think they're really, really neat looking jeans. Okay, this next lot of items that I sold were 15 pieces of women's clothing, and it sold for $42. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the items, but I'm going to show you some of the better items in the lot. So this first item is a Warner Brothers Looney Tunes button-down shirt. And it's in really good condition. And this item is a cycling shirt by SheBeast. And it has the pockets in the back. And then this is an interesting Tommy Hilfiger shirt. And then this blouse is really pretty. It's a Lauren Conrad blouse. And this item is a women's sleeveless Callaway golf shirt. And then this last item I'm gonna show you from this 15 item women's clothing lot is a Kiana dress, size three. And it actually still has the tag on it. And that's not actually the dress, but this is the Kiana tag. And then this is the dress. So there were 15 items in this lot total. I just wanted to highlight the items that I thought were really good items in this lot. You see how bad it is under the light? This light makes me like red and sweat. <laughs> All right, so this next lot right here was a cufflink lot. It had cufflinks, um, tie tacks, and some tie clips in it. And there were 14 carded items. I am so OCD that I put all of the sets on cardstock. So here's the whole lot of items here. So the ones that I could actually read that had um, the maker's mark on it, I wrote on the card. So here's some swank. 
These are cool. These are probably one of my favorites in this lot. They're Dante wraparound cufflinks. And then here's some Hickok. And then these are Shields Fifth Avenue. These are cool because they have like, they're black and they have sparkles in the middle. Okay, so the rest of these are not actually labeled. This was a set of cufflinks that came with two sets of the tuxedo pins. Um, one set is a little bit bigger backings than the others. And they're just solid black. These did not have a maker's mark on them. And those were the cufflinks. So now I'm gonna show you the tie clips. There's two tie clips. That's one. And then here's the other. And then the rest of these are little pins. And here's one. And here's another. And then here's a little tiny cross. And then Robin told me this is a railroad spike. At first I thought it was a golf tee. But apparently it's a railroad spike. And then the last one is a train. So that was the Cufflink tie tack lot and that sold for $45. All right, so this next lot right here is a wood necklace lot. It came with 11 pieces total, seven wood necklaces, two sets of earrings, and then two jewelry findings. There's one, two, and that one had a giraffe on it. Three, this one has a Ben Franklin store tag on it and it has elephants. Four, five, six, and the, here's the seventh necklace. And then two individual findings, they're little giraffes. And then two sets of earrings. So here's the first pair, little lions. And then these are cool, these are elephants. Look at the detail on that. All right, so that was the wood necklace lot and that sold for $37. All right, so this next lot right here is a lot of belt buckles and they sold for $60. So here's the first belt buckle, a Vietnam veteran belt buckle. It's made in the USA, there was no year on it. And the second one is a star. It's made in the USA, it does not have a year on it either. This one is really cool. This one was made in 1999. This is a Buffalo belt buckle. I believe it says 1980 on it. And this is a Hank Williams Jr. belt buckle. On the back it says Hank Williams Jr. Fan Club. That's a pretty neat one. And then the last one is a Pew Pew <laughs> belt buckle. All right, so that lot of belt buckles sold for $60. All right, this next item right here is a Versace glass wine bottle stopper. And this item right here sold for $60. And it looks like it's made up of over 24% lead crystal. All right, and here's the box. It's a very cool piece. All right, so this next lot right here is a lot of vintage pen items, and this lot sold for $75. I'm not going to hold up each pen. I'm going to just show you the lot of the pens. All right, so here is the lot of vintage pens that sold for $75. This is a really beautiful piece right here. I love the peacock, and this oriental piece is interesting. And then there were three pendants in this lot. So just some really cool pins there. All right, this is the second to the last lot. These last two lots hit over $100. So I wanted to save them for last. So this first lot I'm gonna show you were 10 vintage belt buckles. This lot went for $150. Okay, so here is a vintage Remington belt buckle, an eagle, the letter J, and this one was 24 karat gold plated, but 
it's all kind of rubbing off since it's getting older. A D, and this one says solid brass on it. And then this one right here. And then a bluegrass music belt buckle. And this one says solid brass 1981, first armored division. It says handmade on the back. And then this one was made in the 70s, a vintage Budweiser belt buckle. And I had a little automobile chauffeur pin thrown into it. So this lot was 10 pieces. There were nine belt buckles plus one pin. And then the last belt buckle is a really neat fire engine. All right, so that 10 piece lot went for $150. So now is the time to show you the big lot of the night. You know, sometimes when you have small lots, you just don't have any idea what you might have and you wouldn't necessarily think that the smaller lot would go for the most money, but I'll show you why. Five Ed Hardy t-shirts. Every one of these shirts is new with tags. So let me show you. These are all size large shirts. Here's the first shirt. Shirt number two. Here's the back. Shirt number three. This one has a little bit different tag on it. So it was probably made at a different time. The other four shirts have a tiger tag. This one has, you know, an interesting tag on it. And then here's the back. And here's shirt number four. This one's really cool and reflective. And then here's the back. And then I had to save the best one for last. Such, such cool, vibrant graphics on these shirts. And then here is the back. So this lot of five Ed Hardy shirts with tags went for $320. All right, guys. So that is it for today. Stay tuned. I'm going to be working on hopefully another funny video. We'll see. Sometimes it's really funny in my head, <laughs> but I don't know how it's going to turn out. So we'll just see what happens there. Please like my video, share it out. And if you have not done so already, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time. This item right here is a package of marble. Marble. I said marble. This is actually a tooth big lot of the night on auctions for you as an added, yeah, baby. It is a vintage, well, it is fresh, it is cultured, and it is a vintage Judy Lee bracelet. Cost you, hmm. Judy Lee bracelet, and it sold for $27. And it is really pretty. It's a five strand necklace. And then this item is a women's sleeveless. All right, so this, It came with 11 pieces total, seven would let, blah, 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 two sets of earrings and then two, um, and then two sets of necklaces. So here's the first, or er, necklaces, it is earrings. All right, so that was the vintage neck. 
All right, so this next lot right here um, where it was, and then here's the back. And worked on and all that good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> so if you please like my video, share, and if you have not, not, hmm. This package right here is a, this package is a package. <laughs> oh, going on bloopers. 